In this review of psychologists for AP Psychology, we'll take a look at those psychologists and other scientists from the biology and sensation and perception units. So we got Broca, Darwin, Gazzaniga, Sperry, and Wernicke. So Charles Darwin, English naturalist, wrote Origin of the Species, studied and uh, theorized about evolution and how traits can be adaptive and are passed along to the next generation, wrote about natural selection of those traits, and he currently has influenced the evolutionary perspective within psychology. Paul Broca worked with patients who had aphasia, the inability to speak. He discovered the brain region that now bears his name uh, from lesions that created that aphasia, and he essentially discovered the first anatomical proof of localization of brain function. That is to say, a particular part of the brain has particular functions within the context of how the brain operates. Carl Wernicke, he followed Broca's research and looked at receptive aphasia in the posterior superior temporal gyrus of the left hemisphere. And so the receptive aphasia is the inability to understand speech, and it is now called Wernicke uh, aphasia, or Wernicke's aphasia in most psych textbooks. Roger Sperry studied neuronal specificity and regeneration studies, that is, neurons uh, having specific functions. In 1981, he co-won the Nobel Prize for Physiology and Medicine uh, with his split brain research along with Ubel and Wiesel, uh, two other psychologists we'll get to momentarily. He looked at uh, patients who had the severing of the corpus callosum, the bundle of fibers that connect the two hemispheres of the brain, and so when they cannot communicate, there is a series of things that the, the brain can no longer do, and that's what Sperry studied. A student of his was Michael Gazzaniga. Gazzaniga was a cognitive neuroscientist and worked in split brain research in humans, and he looked at higher brain functioning and the lateralization of brain functioning. That is to say, how each side of the brain has primary functions. For example, the left side of the brain handles most of the language processing. His work is cited in intro texts in the divided brain sections, and a little fun note, if you ever see anything related to alien hand syndrome, that's going to be in relation to people who've had split brain surgery. In the sensation and perception, we're going to look at Fechner, Ubel, Weber, and Wiesel. Gustav Fechner, uh, he's a found, uh, founder of modern experimental psychology and definitely influenced psychophysics, studied absolute thresholds, our awareness of very, very faint stimuli. So the idea of seeing a candle 30 mi in a complete darkness 30 miles away, that's going to be a Fechner idea. And uh, what is now known as either Weber's Law or Weber-Fechner's Law is the uh, ratio of intensity to have a just noticeable difference. And yes, I do see the typo on the screen. Not ration, but ratio of intensity to have a just noticeable difference, or a JND. Ernst Weber, a founder of modern experimental psych, influenced psychophysics as well, studied absolute thresholds, our awareness of faint stimuli. Again, also part of Weber Fechner's law, the ratio of intensity to have a just noticeable difference. Ernst Weber. David Ubel, Nobel Prize along with uh, Wiesel and Sperry, uh, he put the microelectrode in a cat brain and he worked on the visual system neurons and processing and discovered that certain neurons responded only to certain lines, what he called simple cells. Other cells detect motion. Those were known as complex cells. And so he was looking at cats and restricting the visual system and seeing how their brains operated. Same thing with Torsten Wiesel of the Ubel and Wiesel fame. Uh, won the Nobel Prize, microelectrode in the cat brain, and looking at simple and complex cells. Ubel and Wiesel. And that's it for this particular section.